what's good i'm eleni and welcome back to my channel so today i am packing all of the giveaway winners stuff to put out into the mail so all of the hats and i just wanted to say to everybody who participated thank you so much for participating in my giveaway there was a lot of entries so um, it was definitely hard that I could only have seven winners, so I actually ended up getting extra stickers, an extra three stickers, so I could have ten winners total because I just wanted to have even more winners, I guess. But um, thank you for participating and congrats to the ten winners. I am packing these all today, so probably maybe a week from by the time this video gets put out you should have these in the mail um so i already packed a few of them i have this one is the um i don't remember now hang on <laughs> that's not good so i think this is the flower hat i packed this one is the bucket hat i have to pack it I don't know why I keep calling this the flower hat. It's a strawberry spring hat. I just feel like it's flowers for like spring and summer a bit. So this one is the ooh dad cap. So I have to pack that. Um, and I have cute little packaging bags, which I think they're so cute. So when you open up your mailbox, you're gonna know that this is your prize. They're all silver. And then of course, um, for the stickers I have in these cute little um, purple and pink envelopes. I like it. And then also some white envelopes too. Um, unfortunately, I'm sorry for the winner of the mug. You only get a brown box. Sorry, sorry. It has to be safe though, you know. But yeah, so this was such a fun thing to host. I'm really happy with how the results of my very first giveaway went. Um, and congrats to all of the winners. I think you definitely deserved it. Most of the winners, um, they had so many entries to win, like over 80 entries um, a lot of them had. So the more entries you had, the better chance of winning. And that's true because the top like five winners, a lot of them had like entries at least like 75 and up. So I was pretty impressed. It was a randomized drawing. So the more entries you had, the better chance the, um, the program, I guess, to draw the winners, the better chance of selecting you. So thank you for that. Um, so I'm just gonna start packing with you guys. inside I'm gonna wrap them. I do apologize, the person who won the O bucket hat, I already sealed yours before I gotta put like cute tissue paper and crinkles in there, but I mean, it's just paper, so it's not that big of a deal, right? Um, Cleo's here with us to congratulate everybody who won and participated. Over there in the corner, he, um, he loves the camera, what can I say? I can't, I can't, I can't shoo him away if he wants to be here. Leo is nowhere to be found. I think he's out on my balcony right now enjoying the sun. This one is very hard to stuff in here, as you can see but I wanted my bags to be cute. Now for some crinkle, because why not? And it smells good, I don't know why. So your package should arrive smelling delicious. I think, um, I don't even know, I think these were next to my, this crinkle paper was next to my candles, so now it smells like the candles. So I did want to say um, a lot of the winners were either already members of my server or through the giveaway they decided to join my server, my Discord server. So if you would like to join my Discord server, we also have game nights, we do fun things, we try to make my Discord server as interactive as possible. So the link for my Discord server will be in the description, so be sure to join. I think you'll have fun there. Um, it's 
it's a nice little community, but you, if you violate anything, you will get banned. So just, you know, no cursing and no slurs, no hate speech. Um, I see people in my comments sometimes get upset when they get banned for violating your server rules. So be sure to read the server rules before, um, before violating any of them without knowing. Also, if you're interested in any of my merch that I had given away, um, you can see that in the first giveaway video. I don't, I'm not gonna show it right now. But if you're interested in any of that, also check the description because you can, um, you can shop my merch online at my store. There's a lot of cool things and I try to update the store every couple of months so there's new stuff, so be sure to check it out. Packing these is actually really hard to show you guys on camera, <laughs> um, but I thought it'd be a fun video so everybody who won the giveaway can be excited for when they get the package or maybe, maybe, I don't know if they'll get the package before or after this video. Um, I will be mailing these out before this video goes up, so that's exciting. So now I am just putting on the mailing addresses on everybody's package. Um, I probably shouldn't have sealed up all of the packages before I did this, because now I have to remember what is what, but I think I know. So hopefully everyone gets their right prizes. I think I'm gonna open up the one to double check because I'm unsure. But we'll see, we'll see. This one is in the done pile. This is the touch tool. I can, I know that because that's the only one not inside of a silver mailing bag. The touch tool is honestly one of my favorite things because I live um, in an apartment complex and also it's just nice to not have to touch doors and keypads and things that other people touched, especially last year with the whole COVID situation. So hopefully that never happens again. Um, so this one actually it has a cute little sticker from my store. A lot of my products from my store um, come with this on the mailing label. So already on the package. It's my logo. I think it's so cute. And it's like you know what's coming in the mail when you see that. I'm trying to do this as neatly as possible. While also making sure no one's information gets seen on camera because that would be really bad. But I am careful. I really do over tape my packages, but that's okay because they're safe. There's so much tape on this. This package is essentially waterproof because of how much tape is on there. Package number two. This is definitely the ew hat. I can tell because I can feel it, so I don't need to open it up. Now I just gotta see who won the ill hat. The ill bucket hat, not the dad cap. So now to package up my favorite piece of merch. Can you guys guess what that is? I feel like you definitely can. This is, this is easy. Um, my favorite piece of merch is, let me pull this out. Mug. It's so cute drink coffee out of it. I have all my mugs in every single pattern, so that's three of them. Because you can never have too many mugs, I feel like. I feel like mugs are very, very important in my life. I use them every single morning. Well, honestly, I use coffee mugs about every single day because, well, not every, not just every single day. That's like so repetitive. I use coffee mugs the entire day because I start drinking coffee about seven, eight o'clock in the morning and I don't stop drinking coffee until about 3 p.m. which is bad I know. And then I start to have tea after that. Once I decide that I've had enough caffeine for the day I have tea and then non-caffeine non tea. I've been drinking um, butterfly pea tea lately. Um, it's like it's flower. Butterfly pea flour tea. So I just drink it all day. 
something warm, a warm beverage. Who doesn't like warm beverages? I truly think if you don't like hot beverages, like at all, there's something wrong with you because it's never too hot to have a hot beverage. I literally live in Florida where it's 95 to 100 some degrees every single day and I still have a hot coffee while sitting out on my balcony looking at the pool or something like that. You have to. Okay. Package this up. The mug is safe and secure. Honestly, there's so much crinkly fabric in, not fabric, crinkle stuff and bubble wrap in here. But this is not gonna be going anywhere. All right. Good to go. Some of them I put little cards in um, if I remembered. So, ta da! So cute with a little note. So you can, if you want, you can look forward to that. And um, thank you to all the winners who checked their email in their spam box. So when I contacted them, they answered me pretty quickly. I was actually kind of nervous about that if, um, because I wanted to get the, the, win the prizes out by uh, at least a week after it ended. So yes, <laughs> I was looking for some speedy email replies. Ooh, lots of tape. Don't want to lose this. My biggest fear when I mail something to someone is that it is not received or it gets lost or I, I always feel like whenever I mail my friends their presents for their birthday is in Christmas, I always am worried that the package is going to like somehow like open up in the mail which is why I'm always overly taping things shut because so I just ha I have this in my head that it will the package will be so beat up that in the mailing process it literally opens up and then all of the contents of their presents are just like on this conveyor belt all over the place and it'll just be this whole disaster that I'm, I don't want to have Oh, I didn't tape the bottom of this package. Don't want the mug falling out the bottom. I think it's mainly my fear with like heavy packages. Um, some of the things that I sent my friends for Christmas or their birthdays have been a very large box and all of these little things would have fallen out and that wouldn't have been good. It's pretty cool that people all over the United States have my merch. Well, from people who either already bought it or the 10 winners who participated. So I'm happy. These are two of the stickers. I have to package up the other stickers. So we'll see. This matches my makeup and my hoodie. The purple. I love the purple. This is the only envelope I have in this color. The other ones have to have this pink color. But this is a beautiful envelope. It's shiny. I don't know if you guys can see. I like it. Now I need to go out and get stamps because I don't have any right now. That really puts a damper on the mood, but I guess I'm already going to the post office, so I will get the stamps while I'm there. Oh, I didn't seal this. This is nasty. I'm not sick. This is just how you have to do things. I'm also gonna tape a chat. Also, I am not going to be announcing the names of any of my, of my winners for privacy reasons, and I don't think they either want their full, you know, their first name or their username online. But maybe you'll see someone post about their prize or they won, but I am mailing all of these out and I will not be announcing the winners. So sorry about that. I will not be publicly announcing the winners, so sorry about that if you were looking forward to that, but I just don't want to, um, you know, violate anyone's privacy. I know some people like to be anonymous online, so there you go. So now I have a huge, 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 huge stack of all of these prizes that I'm going to carry with me to the post office. 
So again, thank you guys all so much for participating in my giveaway. And thank you and congratulations to the 10 lucky winners. So this is everything. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for always supporting me and being here to watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the comments section of the next post. Thank you.